Whenever we get a bigger release of iOS like iOS 18.5, usually in the next days and weeks there will be one or two smaller updates, like a point one or a point two update. And of course this time will be exactly the same as well iOS 18.5.1 should be just around the corner. Now the main reason we believe that is that Apple has just stopped signing yesterday iOS 18.4.1, which means that the only software currently being signed for your device is iOS 18.5. And usually Apple will do this a week or maybe even two before they release a new software because usually we have two different firmwares being signed at the same time. Now, the other reason is of course that there's always something to fix. iOS 18.5 is actually an amazing update. Great performance, decent battery life, a few like simple new features here and there and overall is a great update. But there are still things that need to be fixed. Now, of course, these updates are really important. They will fix a ton of stuff in the background that we don't even see. But there are also things that we see here, a lot of bugs that actually have to be addressed. Like the overheating of devices. A lot of reports by users, especially I've noticed a trend, the iPhone 16 Pros and the 15 Pros are experiencing issues with overheating. Now, this is actually an issue that has happened to devices a lot of times. Different firmwares, different devices have been reporting overheating. And this time, the iPhone 16 Pro and the 15 Pros have been actually reporting that. Another problem that I'm experiencing myself, now I have a 15 Pro Max right here, I'm not experiencing overheating, but I'm experiencing problems with notifications. And usually it is, is messaging apps like Snapchat and WhatsApp, I get a message, I don't see it until I go into the app. It doesn't show me a notification, it doesn't even show a badge. And that's actually really, really annoying. Even though I have even priority notifications enabled, it doesn't pop up at all so that's really annoying now another thing which i think is very serious and i have seen this reported by a couple of users is that safari is actually not saving downloads into the files app you will download the app basically the file but you won't actually see it on your files app so that's really interesting and hopefully it should be fixed with the next update. So what should you do and when can we expect this update to be out? Well, it's interesting because we're also expecting iOS 18.6 to be released on its first beta. It didn't release yesterday, it might happen today. If it doesn't happen, probably it will next week. Now, as far as iOS 18.6, of course, that will require quite a lot of betas. So you can expect that to be released sometime right here in the middle of July. Of course, in the meantime, we will have a point one, most likely even a point two update to iOS 18.5. So I would actually expect iOS 18.5.1 to be released within May, most likely towards the end of the May. We should see on the 26th or the 27th this update being released, even though the bigger updates usually are released at the beginning of the week, the smaller updates might be released even later on the week. So what you should do, of course, this is a very important update and I do suggest that you update immediately. So for that to happen, you don't have to worry about anything. Just head on under the automatic updates, make sure you have turned on here everything. And once iOS 18.5.1 is out, you will have it up updated, installed on your device and have all the latest fixes. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.